Today we're taking a quick first look into the updated IPMI interface that's shipping out with Supermicro's brand new X12 and H12 motherboards. We've also got big news. With this update, BIOS updates through IPMI are completely free and no longer require an out-of-band license. Keep watching to find out more. Hi guys, Michael from Server Factory here. Supermicro's IPMI functionality is truly amazing. It provides so many useful features for your server, including remote management and monitoring. But like most IPMI interfaces, it's starting to look a bit outdated. The good news is that Supermicro have very quietly come out with a fresh and clean new interface for most of the new H12 and X12 motherboards. We haven't seen this interface shown anywhere on the web yet, and to be fair, Supermicro aren't likely to have a press release for an IPMI update. But since there are a few new features and it's a complete reskin, we're quite surprised that there hasn't been any news on it. It's worth pointing out that at the moment only single processor H12 and X12 motherboards are shipping with the updated IPMI. However, Supermicro have told us that multi-socket boards will be receiving the update very soon. They've also confirmed to us that this update won't be coming to X10, X11 or H11 boards, so if you like what you see, you'll just have to upgrade. Anyway, we have some footage that we've taken from a H12 SSW-NTR that our customer ordered in this pre-built system. We haven't had the time to properly dive into all of the features of this yet, so let us know if you'd like a follow-up video with a deeper look into the updated interface. Okay, without further ado, let's check it out and see what's changed. So when you first log into the IPMI, this is the new look dashboard that you come to. And it's a big improvement, especially since the current IPMI interface doesn't even have a proper dashboard. If you've used Supermicro's IPMI view application, then you might have seen a dashboard like this that shows different aspects of the server like fan speeds and temperatures. The new update basically brings that into the 21st century with a lot more details, customizability and nice blue graphics that give a much clearer look. There are a few different toggleable options, almost like widgets, that you can see along the top here, colored green or blue, to indicate whether they are selected. You can take an in-depth look too, with options you can see here like sensor readings. There's also a nicely laid out power consumption graph here on the right, which shows the wattage over time with a minimum, maximum and average. Even further to the right, we have a floating toolbar which provides basic functionality like shutdown and reset. This is visible on every page of the interface, which is surprisingly helpful. Anyway, let's look back over to the left, where the different menu options have moved to. If we click on system here, we're taken to an overview of the various components installed in the system, which are indicated by a green tick. Clicking this or the various menus on the top will take us to that component's information screen, which can tell us the model and serial of any installed parts. The standard IPMI interface has this already, but it's laid out in a tree like this, which is quite clunky as it needs to be expanded out bit by bit. Moving on from there, we can look into the configuration menu. The options look pretty much the same here as they did before with the network configuration and notifications available to set up. We can also see the remote control menu, which looks relatively unchanged with the options of using Java or HTML5. The maintenance menu looks about the same too, with license activation options and firmware updates available to do through the interface. Supermicro confirmed to us that with this update, they are removing the license requirement for BIOS updates done through the IPMI. This is massive news, as you'd no longer need to buy an OOB or out-of-band license if you want to update the BIOS remotely. You'll still need it for anything else though, like the Supermicro Update Manager. So to conclude, we probably wouldn't advocate buying a new board just to get the newer IPMI, but it is a really useful thing to have because it's a lot more user-friendly now and there are a few new features, like for example the dashboard, which is a much nicer way to monitor your server. We know it will be especially useful for home server users who might keep the IPMI page open all day to keep tabs on it. We believe it will be a welcome update and it's definitely the nicest IPMI interface that we've seen. Anyway, what do you think about the new look IPMI? Like we said earlier, let us know if you'd like a follow-up video with a deeper look into the updated interface. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, then please leave it a like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.